there's trees on the way now. Well, I need this. I need you. You can see this area, here, right? Yes. Okay. All right, here we go. Why are you such a scaredy cat? Hello guys, I am Evil Victor, and today I'm going to show you how to make a sci-fi style foam gun. Or rather, trying to make one since my results were less than stellar. For this project, you'll need a big thing of clay, as well as tools for working with the clay, a lubricant, in this case soap and spray-on enamel, plaster, gloves, plastic containers, liquefied foam, resin, or some other poured material that you may want to make your prop out of, some old newspaper, and a toothbrush. Additionally, any materials you may want to incorporate into your build. We'll also be painting our prop, but that's for a later video. Also, this will not give you a professional quality prop. Uh, this was mostly improvised and not at all the right way to make a foam prop. If you're going for quality, I strongly suggest a better tutorial. Also, this isn't really a tutorial. So the first step is to make your prop out of clay. For this build, I am making a 1950s style sci-fi gun, like something you may have seen out of a cheesy B-movie. Now, I won't walk you on how to carve and mold your clay, but basically it can be any shape as long as it's not super intricate. You can use any kind of clay. Here, I'll be using this children's modeling clay, because it's cheap, easy to work with, dries quickly, and retains its shape after drying. Now, once you've created your shape, and it's dried completely, we are going to make the negative mold. This is the mold we will later fill with foam to make the actual prop. But, in order to create our negative mold, we need to prepare our clay shape. So the first thing we'll do is spray it with a liquid enamel. This will seal off most of the pores and give us a smoother surface, which will keep it from sticking to our mold. This is a super important step, so don't skip it like I did. Next, we'll need a lubricant. You can use Vaseline, but it's a little messy. So for this build, I'll be using laundry detergent. Specifically, I'll be using Sote, a brand of laundry detergent typically available in stores that carry Latin American products. I chose this soap because when it dries, it leaves behind a very thin but slick film. It also washes away super easily once you're done. So what we're going to do is take a slice of the soap and put it in a plastic container. Put some water in the container. And now with a toothbrush, we are just going to scrape and stir the soap for a while, until we end up with a really thick foam. It should have the consistency of shaving foam or whipped cream when finished. Once done, take the prop and cover it in the foam. Be sure to be thorough, but not excessive. This will leave a thin, invisible film when it dries, so the prop pops out of the mold easily, and this way you won't have to struggle with it. So now we are going to move on to creating the mold. 